Hey guys, Stephen Bogren here. Today I'm going to talk about why you shouldn't cut your water on a peak. So hey guys, hope you're all having a wonderful Wednesday. Do you like my sweet Monty Python-esque rip-off shirt? I do. I do very much. So, now that we've talked about something that I do like, let's talk about something that I very much don't like. And that is people telling my competitors what they should do and what they shouldn't do during their peak uh, and getting in their heads, right? At the end of the day, um, if you've paid your coach, you've paid your coach. It's the same thing I've done. I've paid coaches to where I didn't necessarily agree with or understand what they were doing with me during the peak weeks. You know what happened? I fired them after I didn't like what they brought to stage, okay? That's the simple truth of it. If you're not happy with what your coach helped you to bring to stage, fucking fire them. If you're not happy with what I've done, fire me if you think that I've done something wrong or that I've led you incorrectly. Please. Like, that's my accountability, right? Yes, absolutely. 100%. And I am accountable to you, my clients, about what we bring to stage, how we get there, um, and then how I deal with you in just the process, right? I'm guiding you on this journey. But this is something that I see happen all the time with first time competitors, right? Because of the fact that there's so much bro bodybuilding history, uh, people almost accept it as truth. But this day, today, uh, today, today I wanna talk about why we don't fucking cut water, why we don't cut sodium um, during a bodybuilding prep or a peak week, okay? So first and foremost, if you're not lean enough going into peak week, you're not going to be lean enough on stage. Maybe dehydrating a little bit will make you look a little bit better, might make you look a little bit more conditioned, but it's not really going to do much. So the trick is be fucking lean enough before you start peaking. Be lean enough first. If you're lean enough, it's really hard to mess you up. Trust me, I've done some dumb crap with competitors before. Sorry guys, um, but you know, like you get away with a lot. You can really be super, super aggressive with carbs and you can, like, it just allows you to do more things, right? Um, because when you're lean, your body just responds well to it. But let's, let's talk about some numbers. If you are not lean enough, fat is 5% water. 5% water, okay? So you're not gonna, even if you're able to dehydrate your fat cells, it's not gonna do much, okay? Now, the thought process behind why do we cut water, why do we cut sodium, why do we do this stuff, why do we load water and do this and super low calorie going in, okay? Thought process behind water is that you are somehow going to trick your body, trick, trick or treat, ha ha ha, we are playing games, into changing homeostasis, into changing the intracellular to extracellular water ratios and pulling water out of the extracellular space somehow, okay? Homeostasis is a range that your body wants to maintain, um, okay? It's there to keep you fucking alive. A-L-I-V-E. -E. Alive. So that's important, okay? So let, let's make that our first and foremost thing, alive, health, okay? I have been to shows where people have fucking died in between prejudging and the night show because of dehydration. Um, you know, they're taking water pills, they're doing these other things. Um, they died. Okay? So that's, that's my first and foremost. Like, you can fucking die if you do this too hard and you do it poorly. Okay? The second thing is, is you don't trick your body into doing anything. Okay? You're not tricking your body into letting go of more water because here's what happens is yes, you're going to get dehydrated, absolutely, you're correct, okay? But when you dehydrate, you don't just dehydrate the extracellular matrix, right? You dehydrate the intracellular fluid, okay? So not only are you dehydrating, you know, everything outside of the cell, you're dehydrating everything in the cell, glycogen, muscle volume, all that rest of stuff. So what happens is I look nice and big, when I'm hydrated and I'm full and my glycogen stores are full and as those all drop down, I look flat. I lose definition. I look softer, okay? So that's what happens when we cut water. Cutting sodium is just stupid, right? 
we need sodium for healthy muscle function. Your heart is a healthy muscle, okay? It needs sodium for contraction and for relaxation, right? We need sodium for muscle function. Now, your body does have some inherent things built in to help deal with these things, right? So, when your kidneys sense that we're dehydrating, water levels are low, we're not getting a lot of water in, it starts reabsorbing water. It will do the same thing with sodium, right? So, it legitimately, when you're going like, I'm gonna eat all the sodium and then drop the sodium and then drink all the water and drop all the water, your body fucking fights you, okay? It's like, oh, hey, no, this is a bad idea, we're gonna die, I don't wanna die, let's start reabsorbing, right? So it changes the way that it's dealing with uh, fluids and salts for sodium retention, right? Fluid retention, because at the end of the day, that's what this is all about. It's all about fluid retention. So, <clears throat> first and foremost, water. You can fucking die if you dehydrate yourself badly enough, right? That can be, uh, you know, made worse if you're taking water pills, right? Sodium, you can fucking die. It's called hyponatremia, right? A lot of the times, symptoms of hyponatremia are the same symptoms that you are going to experience when you are dehydrated, right? You're gonna to wanna to be drinking water. What that actually can do sometimes is wash the extra sodium out um, or the leftover sodium out and then make it even worse, okay? Again, really, really bad. Not good things, okay? So we don't want to try to, you know, take out all of our sodium, take out all of our water. Those things are important. Now, what about for filling out? If we want to fill out, right, we want to be able to get a pump on stage, we want to be able to do the important things that are going to make us look our best on stage, we need water and sodium. Blood volume, right? Carbohydrates are stored with water, okay? One gram of glycogen to 2.7 grams of water, okay? That's stored in the muscle. Again, see, water within the muscle, very important, right? So we need water and sodium to help get everything to the muscle via carbohydrates and store it in the muscle, right? So if you are trying to carb up with no water, well, if you're getting the carbs into the muscle, it takes water. So you are either dehydrating yourself, right? To try and do that, which most likely isn't gonna happen. What I find most people do is they still just look kind of flat, right? And now they're bloated because Again, digestion takes water too. So, to look your best, you have to have adequate water and sodium, right? We need them for healthy muscle functions. If you don't have them on show day, you also won't be able to get a pump. Because what is a pump? It's the swelling that create, that's going into the muscle, right? How do we do that? We're getting blood into the muscle. If we have no blood volume, that makes it very hard. Blood volume, low blood volume also can make it much more difficult on the heart, right? So it's very, very important that we understand underlying physiology, right? And this is simpler stuff in the terms of physiology, right? Uh, so that we have our health um, in check, right? And not only that we have our health in check, but that we also, you know, look our best on stage. The problem for a lot of people is they're not lean enough. If you get truly lean enough, you won't have to cut your water, you won't have to cut your sodium, you won't have to be doing all this crazy stuff. All you need to do is fill out, drop cardio, get back to a place where you don't have a ton of inflammation going on, you're feeling good, um, you're going to look great, okay? The, what a lot of people I see over and over and over again from competitors that come to me, they looked good before the show, Week of the show, they started looking worse. They didn't look good on show day. After the show, when they went out, had a meal, you know, sodium and water, they looked great, okay? The day after the show doesn't matter. It's the day of the show that we're worried about. That's, that's when it matters. That's what all this hard work is for. So whereas, yes, you looked great the day after the show and that's still awesome, you know, we were working for the day of that show. We don't wanna mess that up. That is why we do not cut water and sodium, guys. Hopefully this helps, hopefully explains why I don't cut water and sodium, why I don't F with those things. First and foremost, up, guys, I want to keep you alive. Um, and secondly, I, guys, I want you to look your best. So I'll leave it there, guys. Happy Wednesday. Stay alive, stay safe, and I'll talk to you soon.